What's going on everybody? My name is Rex. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. In today's video, I'm just going to document these pieces before I put them up for sale. They are rebranded Tayo products to Tyco to be sold in the US here. RC motorcycles. We've got this Harley Davidson from 1994. And then in 95, they had a yellow version of this. And apparently this one's from 96. And these that I picked up are pretty much mint condition, brand new. I don't think they were run. And if it was run, maybe it was run indoors. Super cool. They take these six volt battery packs. And both of these work. I was lucky enough to pick these up in a, in a combo kit. There's three Tyco RC vehicles total for a ridiculously good price. My original intention was to just go ahead and sell them right away. Then I look up the commercial for these and watching the old commercial for this thing actually brought back memories of when I saw it when I was uh, much younger. And of course, Tyco's commercials are always awesome. But in reality, this is how these motorcycles actually go. So with that in mind, I decided not to try and run them. And I've been saving them to uh, put up. I just haven't had the time to, but I am finding the time to now. Both of these work, and just like a typical RC motorcycle, when you turn right, the wheel turns left because of push steering. It makes the bike, alert, uh, makes the bike lean the opposite direction you turn. Yeah, so these two are pretty, pretty cool. I mean, they look incredible. Of course, they look like toys with these. Got the remote for the samurai. Forward, and then you got turbo when you push it a little bit more. Let me see, can you read turbo in there? Oh, it doesn't even say turbo. Oh, it does. It's really very faint. Harvey Davidson's radio. even came with the instructions. I have all kinds of paperwork. Let's have a look. What is this here? Tyco Jet Turbo Premium Nikac. So this is the, the battery pack uh, kit. You had to buy battery packs separate with these vehicles. They didn't come with a vehicle. I remember back then it was kind of tough because just like now, I guess, uh, you have to buy batteries separate from a lot of RCs. But the thing is, batteries are a lot less expensive nowadays. Uh, before, the batteries were very expensive for what you got. I mean, nowadays you can find expensive batteries, but you're getting a lot for that price. $5 million rebate. Yes, because on the box of the Samurai, I believe, it says you get a $5 million rebate if you buy that plus the 6-volt battery thing. Attention, your battery pack consists of new parts and materials. Therefore, you should charge the battery pack for five and a half hours for the first, the first two times you charge the battery. Subsequent charges will only require four hours. What? Oh, those days are nuts. And you can charge up a battery in a half hour to an hour safely.
All right, Harley Davidson. Nothing special in this, nothing really. Shows you how to operate it and everything, we're good. That's a really long instruction book with tips and hints. Running your car. Okay, typical stuff. Nothing special in this one. I quickly glanced through this and I did see something that was interesting, so I thought I'd save this to, to view it again with you guys. So this instruction book was quite different from the Harley Davidson. But what I noticed here was in on this page where they teach you how to drive the vehicle, so it talks about turning radius, donuts 360, so it can do some type of donut, I guess, and, uh, if the surface is slick enough. Uh, regular speed, turbo speed, blah, blah, blah. Start cycle glides. Here, this is what I was looking at. This, what is this? 180 whip arounds? <laughs> is that like, a, like pulling the brake or doing, oh, it is too. Forward, then pull, brake, and turn. Okay, so handbrake turn. <laughs> so they're telling you to do handbrake turns with their motorcycle. I don't know if that's uh, quite safe in real life. Neat. All right, well, I don't know. There's not much else to document. I'm not gonna run them. You kind of saw how they actually run anyway. I don't think you wanna see these run. These are mint. These should go to somebody who wants them. The only thing is, this display piece, I don't know, the guy must have spilled something on it. You can kind of see it's ugly. Here we go, two Tyco RC motorcycles. Thanks for joining me. Peace out, make it a great day.